As an online teacher, coach, and content creator, there are a few of my favorite applications and programs that I use every single day that really help me be more productive, make my work more professional, and really help me create great content and be a better online teacher and coach. And I'm gonna share them all with you in this video. By far, the number one most used program that I use every single day that really is the foundation of my business is my website. Now I use Squarespace and the reason why is because they are growing their platform to really be an all-inclusive for whatever you need in your business. They just launched their member areas and I beta tested it, I loved it, and I am already using it now in my studio, in my on-demand classes. So if you want a website that's going to really do everything for you all in one, really check out Squarespace. It has changed my business and it's really great because I love that everything's in one space. So check it out if that might be of interest to you. The next program that again, use every single day is now bought by Squarespace. It's called Acuity and it's a scheduling booking system, especially for those of you that are teaching online classes or you want to have people book a session with you. I use this every single day. It's automated, it's professional, it's sleek, it's really affordable, and it has launched my business to make it not only easier for clients to work with me, but it's made it simple for me because it literally, someone books something or schedules something, go straight to my my bank or straight to my PayPal, however, however they paid, or straight through or through Stripe. And then literally I have it all set up so it goes straight to my calendar and everything is really synced, making it easier for me to spend more time on my clients and on my classes and my coachings rather than spending time scheduling and booking. Which then leads me to the next program that I use that's also an app actually on my phone is Google. Now I do use Google Suite, which is a paid version of Google, but again, it has changed my business. I use Google Calendar for everything. Acuity is set up that it actually, when I they book through Acuity on my website, it goes straight to my Google Calendar synced up. Everything is easy all in one place. And I can see all of my clients' information in that, that one form that's going to go straight into my calendar so it makes it more efficient for me and also just a lot, a lot easier. I also love using the Google Docs for everything because if I'm working with a client, I can pop up a Google Doc for them, give them access to it, and we can both work on it. Or if you're teaching a class, you could also use Google Docs for students in your courses to share content information or if you're collaborating with someone else, I do that quite often. Um, it's just a great way to have a cloud-based version of a document so you really don't have to save everything on your hard drive. That's why I like Google, because it's all cloud-based. I don't have to put it on external hard drive, go look for it, it's all there. Also, Google Sheets is really great as well if you want to create any type of spreadsheet and you don't have to go into Excel. It's all, again, housed under Google. It's very similar to my website, which is housed by Squarespace. Everything is in there. And then Google, everything is housed in there, including my email, in my um, Google Docs, my Google Sheets, YouTube. Everything is really synced up, along with my Google AdSense income that I get from my YouTube channel right here. So again, trying to find programs where everything is kind of under one house really makes it more easy and efficient for you versus everything being spidered out. Another program I use every single day is Canva. I have the paid version of Canva, but you can use the free version to create all kinds of images. I also have to say I stopped using a few other programs to create my slides. Now I use Canva and this is the reason why. I can take a slide that I created in Canva for a class and I can literally turn it into a workbook, a poster, any type of document with a different dimension in the literally split second of just clicking it. Also, you can use this platform to work with other people so you're working on the same document at, at one time versus sending it, having them to edit it, send it back. It's really been a lifesaver for me. It's how I create all my thumbnails here on YouTube. I do every single thing, graphic design now, right in Canva. Super affordable, I don't have to ask anyone out of house to create content for me. Makes it fast, makes it easy, efficient, and really saves me a lot of money. Because I create all of these tutorials, like literally the video you're watching right now, 
I need a place that I can edit my own videos. And I still edit every single video that I put out there right now to this point. Now, that's right now. <laughs> Hopefully someday I can hire someone to edit my videos, but all the content I create for my member areas, for my on-demand classes, for the videos you're seeing right now on YouTube, every single thing, I use Wondershare. The Filmora X is what I'm using right now. And I also use the subscription-based monthly platform they have for the effects, which is how I'm getting all the extra gadgets that are going around in this video, like the subscribe button that pops up and clicks. All of the other effects are coming from my monthly subscription from Filmora. The app that I use on my iPad for my documents so I can write on them, I like to save paper as much as possible. It keeps my desk clear, but I use the notability program on my app, on my iPad, every single day. It's where I have all of my notes. If I have PDFs from classes that I take myself, I can write on them with the pen. It's really efficient and easy for me. Also, as a singer, or if I'm working with a student, I can pull their sheet music up, I can make notes on it with the pen, or I can create a PDF with my notes on it for them and send it back to them. It's really been the best way for me to also read PDF books. Um, or documents, ebooks that I can write and make notes on. It's literally so much easier than having to print items out too. So notability, I've used it for years, love it. I have to say the app that I use on my cell phone that I use every single day is Epic Cam. Now this program used to have a few bugs, but they have recently updated it, so props to them. This video is not sponsored in any way as well. These are just apps that I love that you might wanna check out if it's helpful for you. But I use Epic Cam. It's really inexpensive app, You one time purchase, and I use it to form all of my Zoom sessions. I use it as my camera. So instead of setting up the camera, that, the 4K camera that I'm using right now, and it's big, well, it's not really big actually, it's super small, but instead of setting it up and having to put it in and worrying about if it's charged or whatnot, do I need to plug it in? I just take my phone, prop it up, plug it into my laptop so it charges at the same time, open Epic Cam, and then choose that camera device for my Zoom sessions. And I'm telling you, the quality of the camera versus my built-in brand new MacBook Pro camera is totally worth every single second. And it's really inexpensive, easy on the go, and you can open it up, click it in, prop it up, and move on. Totally love it. I get this question a lot from people, so I'm gonna tell you in this video. The way that I get those fancy cursors that you might see on some of my tutorials that look like, I think it's like a little colorful little finger that's pointing or a little arrow, that's from a Chrome extension. So there are a couple of Chrome extensions I want to just offer you really quickly that are just fun. These are all free, but it is a Chrome extension. So I use Custom Cursor, which is a free download you can use to get all kinds of fun holiday emojis if you want. You can switch it up, you can make it bigger. You can also make it smaller depending on your needs and your students' needs or the people that you're working with online. But it's really a great way to kind of spice up your cursor, make it a little more fun when you're online teaching. I also use the emoji keyboard that you can download. Really fun, gives you some different emojis that maybe you don't have. And it's also easy access because it's in your, your extensions on the top right hand side. And I also use Loom. Loom's a great way, even the free version, you get up to five minutes to record a video tutorial with maybe your face in the bottom corner that you can send to someone really quickly and give them a personalized um, video response rather than spending a lot of time setting a lot of equipment up and you just send them the link and it's free if you do less than five minutes. Because I am a musical theater teacher and we do a lot of singing in my online classes and coaching sessions, I gotta tell you, <laughs> I don't have a big keyboard up here just yet, I'm working on that next, but I have this amazing keyboard downloaded. So it's big, I can plunk out notes if I need to, do a few chords. I actually do warm-ups on this because in an online fashion, you don't want that, um, that, that cancellation of a big sound going through the computer and then it lagging. So I just play a chord and they sing. Great, really quick download to have at your fingertips no matter where you are. And then the other one that I use, the my go-to app for piano tracks is called Piano Tracks. <laughs> 
So created by a wonderful man um, that has uploaded hundreds of thousands of musical theater piano tracks. Super helpful and it's a really great monthly subscription that I use every single day in my sessions. If you're creating video content like the one I'm doing right now, or you're creating content for your students' online classes, you probably wanna have some music underneath the video, like right now. If you listen, you can hear it. Sometimes it's really helpful because it gives the mood, it breaks up the um, awkward silence or pause, and I really wanna make sure that I'm supporting artists and their work besides just pulling stuff for free online. So I use Epidemic Sound. It is a monthly subscription. I was really, I was really hesitant at first to pay for this because I have so many subscriptions, but this program has changed my video content. I know that I am paying for the rights for these artists. I'm also contributing to them and paying for them for their music, but there's so many to choose from. I now use this across the board for all of my content because you also wanna make sure that you aren't copywriting anybody's music so that you can't monetize it on your channel, on YouTube, also on your on-demand on online classes. If you're using video, you have to have the copyright for it. And Epidemic Sound really covers all of that for you. It's really easy, great, easy to download, easy to access, and really great music as well. Those are my favorite, my favorite go-to programs and applications that I use every single day as an online teacher, coach, and content creator. If you found value in this video, please click the like button. Subscribe if you want to get my videos that come out every single week. And leave me a message in the comments if there's any program that I missed that you love so I can check it out as well. All right, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>